kept it. Uh, it's a lot of work, as always. People like to say, New Atlantis is the safest city in the settled systems. How hard could your job be? Well, safety doesn't happen by accident. It takes a lot of work and a lot of people. Yep. Something just came in. Scuffle over at the Dawn's Roost. Security on site handled it, but now one of them is saying the other guy stole his wedding ring. Problem is, he left without identifying the perps, so I need you to talk to Royce Elgin at the Dawn's Roost. See if you can fill in the gaps. Men like him aren't very generous with their time. They want you to solve a case without ever having to lift a finger themselves. Not that he'd be much of a witness, given that he was still half drunk when he got here and somehow even more so when he left. Sorry, wrong word. Rich people don't get drunk, they get inebriated, which is another way of saying highly unreliable. Thank you, Captain. Always appreciate it when you lend a hand. Let me know when the matter's resolved. According to the patron, the ring is valuable, but if I had to guess, not for sentimental reasons. Normally, when someone loses a valuable keepsake, they're heartbroken. The way this guy was acting, it's almost as if he lost a wallet full of creds. Let me know if you have any questions. I do hope you are enjoying your time in New Atlantis. Number of the prison surprise? Ah, a most unfortunate incident, complicated by the fact that both parties were inebriated. While I wasn't privy to the entire argument, Hugo and Octavio have been dining here together for quite some time. So, it was surprising to see them at each other's throats. Oh, yes, quite often. Uh, they had a usual table over in the far corner, with all the traditional accoutrements. Music, candles, wine... You see where I'm going with this. But this time, the two barely sat down before the argument got heated. Thankfully, security stepped in before anyone got hurt. I wasn't witness to any theft, 
And both men were wearing rings, if I recall correctly. Well, the one who stayed with UC security, Octavio, is a shorter man, handsome and refined. Uh, his favorite menu item is the saint, I believe. The other, Hugo Fournier, is a tall, slender gentleman with a French accent. Excellent tipper, well-mannered, but a bit hot-tempered. <laughs> I assume that would be the slender gentleman, Hugo Fournier. He was the one who excused himself after UC security arrived. I believe he lives in Athena Tower, although he may be checking out soon. But I would start there. Enjoy the rest of your day. Last minute check. Breath? Excuse me. Check. Oh, I can't believe that old Shall Dario. Yeah. That liar, that manipulator, check that check. Lucky shed. It's never let me down. You are ready for some shock and awe, girlfriend. He wants no what's eating. Yes, the man who... Wait, what? He's accusing me of theft? The nerve of that Lothario! Five years we were together, half a decade! And he threw it all away for that waiter! It was supposed to be a romantic dinner. Our last, before we pledged our lives to each other. But an hour before, I decided to do some cleaning to calm my nerves. I picked up a pair of pants he left on the floor, and out falls a napkin from the dawn's roost with a number written on the back. To think... He had the audacity to schedule a date with me at the same restaurant? I was livid! Still, I went to the date and held it together just long enough for the waiter to serve us. Then I went off! Not just dating, betrothed. And I have the engagement ring to prove it. No, there are some things in life that cannot be repaired. Cheating is his way of saying, I don't love you. And without love, what's the point? He would say that, but as far as I'm concerned, it's my property. He gifted it to me when he proposed. It's not his to return. I don't care. I'm not giving it to you. True, I don't want to go to prison. I've heard stories and they rarely end well.
I am not being stubborn. I am being realistic. Well, I was going to pawn it off. But what if I don't get a good price? And every second with it is excruciating. Ugh, fine. I may be extremely agitated, but I want no part of a UC prison. Here. a hero like you helping me bust these small-time perps. It sets a good example. A restaurant over in the residential district caters to a very fancy clientele. It's the kind of place where forks come in different sizes, depending on the food. Ah, oh, perfect. Did you manage to get the ring back? Excellent. I'm sure the victim will be pleased to know their property has been returned. You acquitted yourself well again. I dare say you might have a knack for police work. Hardly surprising for a captain of the UC Vanguard, but still, impressive nonetheless. Here, take this. It's well deserved. <laughs> 